Hi everyone, Patchman21 back with another lousy unboxing and it's gonna be Loot Crate. Okay, uh, this is the October Loot Crate. The theme is mythical, so it's gonna be mysterious. It's a mystery box, so yeah, or mythical as in mythical beasts, I assume. Um, the costings for this will be on my left, your right. This comes in at around about 23 quid. Then there's bank charges because it has to come from abroad. Um, so that'll be on the, the side there. We're aiming it to, you know, to getting value for money. This is an absolute pig to price for because quite, quite rightly, they do a lot of exclusive stuff that isn't even out there to be priced. So I'll get as, as close as I can in it's face it, it's not going to be perfect, but I'll do my best. So we'll have a look and we'll see how we get on. And there will be a patchy fact later as well, so uh, stay tuned. Right, that's a t shirt, and that's what we're going to go with first. Wow, that's that that is a colorful t shirt. That is that is is that gay rights for ghosts? I don't, it, uh, I, and I honestly don't know if that's sexist or homophobic or anything, but it it does. It looks like stop gay ghosts. I have no idea. That is, well, it's too small for me, thank God, because I wouldn't wear it. I can't imagine who would. Stop colourful pinkness that's dead. That is atrocious. It's probably one of the worst shirts I've ever seen. Um, yeah, I have no, no clue. That's actually not me for six. What are we looking at here? Um, okay, there's a little tiny box here, which is Marvel, Lord versus Loki. Is it an exclusive? Has it got, oh, it has got Loot Crate slammed on the bottom there, so it is going to be an exclusive. Let's have a look and see what we have. There's probably a little diorama. Oh, and there's a a stand of some description wow just wow that's there's, there's a lot of stuff in here so on um, what one is there still there? okay i'll build it Well, that totally wasn't worth the effort. Okay, there's a... Oh, Stranger Things. I do like Stranger Things. So, Eleven versus Demigorgon. Oh, what could this be? Super, uh, super emo friend, Stranger Things, stuff on the back. 17 plus. Right, okay. Let's see what we got. Another little diorama. I'm starting to run out of space for stuff like this. I live in a cottage, not in a 50 bedroom mansion. Building things again. Because let's face it, I just don't have, you know, anything other to do. I'm just, this is, I live, I live to build shit. That's, <laughs> that's really good. I do like that. That's, um, that's come out quite nice. Uh, I'll 
put it on the spinny thing so you can see it. Um, so we've two little dioramary things that you have to build. I must admit, loot crate, loot crate do like you to work for your fun, don't they? And there's a pin. The loot pin is, it looks like Dracula to me. I could be wrong. I am, I really don't care. And of course the pins have an associated something with them, a comic or a game or some, some weird sort of download. pin there, I'll get in my collection. Um, a wooden dagger, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Luke Craig exclusive, Mr. Pointy book, bookmark. So it's a, um, it's a wooden bookmark. Um, there's a book, mythical, and I'm I don't want to be the unboxer who does that, but I will flick to see if I'm in it. Surprise, surprise, I'm not. These are probably the unboxers who will say nothing bad about every single item in their box. They would look at this shirt and go, oh my God, it's lovely, it's delicious. They are lying, it's not lovely and delicious, it's bizarre and shit. So, anyway, that was Loot Crate. Uh, apparently the box will probably build into some fab fabulous thing that I never do. Uh, why? Why? I don't know. It's a box. So, to recap, it's, it's rubbish. It's, I mean, that isn't too bad. I suppose I can put it up. These, these little things, they, they, they're just fiddly. They don't go with anything. They don't sort of, I mean, if I have a shelf of tat, that's where they go. It's a bit. It's, I mean, the quality is brilliant. You can't knock that. These laser cut wooden things are okay. Um, but I can't. I'm feeling this. I would probably last a minute, minute and a half. And if you've got a book that is going to be thicker than, I don't know, five pages, it'll probably snap. Imagine the damage that would do to the single page of a library book. So not a very practical thing, display purposes only. But hey, you've got a nice pin. That's awesome. Right. Um, God, it's going to be a real bugger to do these, so I'll, I'll probably just find some sort of weird diorama -y thing and an even smaller weird diorama -y thing to cost up for that. Uh, overall, I don't think it's that good. I'm not to impress the i mean i'm all for the uniqueness and exclusivity that they they provide but yeah come on seriously uh god, god grief nine minutes um i did faff around quite a bit at the beginning building stuff so hopefully it won't be nine minutes but uh yeah um this well it's a bit of magic bird and apache fact shall i spoil you and give a magic bird and apache fact for for actually trolling to the end of this this these videos and again this one must have been quite painful with me putting this stuff out of the box um this was mythical so let's say the magical mythical word is going to be factual it's it's factual that it, this isn't one of their best boxes so magic word factual okay uh patchy fact this is an interesting patchy fact the bavarian cheese spider gets its name from the fact that it's Web silk is so strong, the locals use it to cut their cheese. Mm. Anyway, I've been Patchman21. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.